you know, I, I think from, from a Sodexo perspective, uh, what this crisis has done really is, you know, shone a light on what we do um, and the services that we provide to, to our clients. So if you think of workplace um, and all of our teams, so what it has done is effectively elevated workplace and the importance of that into the boardroom, actually as a, as a strategic agenda uh, item. So I suppose to give you some context, so some of the services that we would provide, so food services, facilities management, workplace design, cleaning, home care services, all of those have been impacted significantly um, by COVID. So we had to act very quickly, as you can well imagine. Um, but I think in terms of leading the organization through this, so in Ireland, we have uh, just over three and a half thousand people, so right across uh, the island of Ireland. Um, and what's been really, really important to us is staying true to our purpose. Um, and I know it's something that you talked about earlier. So for the past 50 years, um, it has and remains to be um, improving quality of life for all. So it was really important that we, we didn't forget that going through this, uh, this period. So I suppose in the context of, of COVID, um, that focus on people, um, and quality of life with a real emphasis actually on providing safe and secure uh, workplace environments for people have been really, really important for us because that is what impacts an individual's ability to carry out their work both safely and efficiently. But it also plays a really, really important role in the promotion of health and well-being. Um, so, I mean, you know, COVID has impacted businesses all across the, the globe. We, we've all had to reinvent our ways of working and Sodexo are no, no stranger to that either. Um, and we know that, you know, all of our lifelong behaviours have been changed. Um, so we've needed to adapt, as I said, and support people and clients in different ways. You know, for us, even thinking about getting back into the workplace and getting clients back into the workplace, you know, opening the doors is not enough, actually, to get people back to work. So some of the, some of the really key lessons for me have been, and particularly in, because I, I only took over a new role on the 1st of March, um, so in a crisis situation like this, it's a team effort because nobody has all the answers. Um, and I suppose from my perspective and from an Ireland perspective, uh, I can't stress how important that's been um, for us to work as a team in Ireland, but, but, but more importantly, globally. And I suppose why I say that is because one of the most important learnings um, for us was we were able to take the learnings and insights from our colleagues in China who were impacted before us um, which gave us an invaluable head start um, to be able to adapt really quickly. Um, I suppose another, another key lesson for me in this journey is around you know, the importance of making decisions and making them quickly um, and communicating constantly with our people, but also with, with, uh, with clients. Because you know, from a client perspective, every organization has faced the same similar concerns, I would say. So whether that is employee health and safety, um, managing office space, food, hygiene. Um, so for us, as I said, making decisions about changing business models and how we deliver services was really, really critical. And I suppose it's, um, it's a, you know, agility and pace being key, it's adapt or die, really. Um, so one of the things that we did um, quite early on was we knew clients were looking for support around safe returns to work. So we adapted um, a program called Rise with Sodexo to bring all of our services and consider you know, every aspect of a safe return to work or new ways of working that we were seeing emerging all over the globe that we were able to bring to our, our clients um, in Ireland and in the UK. And I suppose the last piece and last lesson for me, um, and it's something I, I put up on LinkedIn recently, is, um, is the piece around, you know, the changes in workplace strategy uh, and management. Because, you know, a big lesson for every organization is the importance of continuously focusing on uh, future proofing how we, how we do business, how we operate businesses and deliver services, because nobody saw this coming. So, you know, we know digital is everywhere. And for us, actually, it's been a, a key enabler um, and for our clients, because if you think of technology, not only for remote working, but actually when people are coming back, you know, technology in terms of pre-ordering food, click and collect, sensor technology to, to, to look at occupancy, you know, all of that is really, really important. And I think one big piece for companies now is the insights into employee journeys are becoming more 
and more important and the tools that you use in terms of workplace design because more data means uh, more important and, and more informed decisions, I would say.